Grab your magnifying glass and put on your explorer's hat. It's time to adventure into the amazing world right outside your door. Let's Look for Bugs is your very first guide to becoming a master of discovery. We'll show you where to peek, what to look for, and how to explore safely. Get ready to meet all sorts of incredible tiny trekkers, from shiny beetles to busy ants, Centipedes are carnivorous hunters. They use a pair of modified, venomous claws called forcipules, which are actually legs adapted into pincers to inject venom into their prey, which includes insects, spiders, and even small vertebrates like mice or lizards. Yellow jackets are often confused with bees, but they're actually a type of wasp. Sleeker, shinier, and more aggressive. Yellow jackets live in colonies, sometimes with over 1,000 individuals, including a queen, Stag beetles can range in size from 2.5 to 12 centimeters, 1 to 4.7 inches, depending on the species. Males are generally larger than females. Stag beetles can fly, but they're slow and clumsy. Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure, including a queen bee, worker bees, and drones. Honeybees build honeycombs in hexagonal cells, which are incredibly efficient for storing honey and raising brood. Ants colony has different castes, queens, egg layers, workers, females that do tasks, and males for mating. Ants build complex nests with tunnels and chambers that can regulate temperature and humidity. Ants are incredibly strong for their size. Bumblebees are known for their fuzzy bodies, which help them collect and spread pollen as they fly from flower to flower. Bumblebees use a technique called buzz pollination. They vibrate their bodies to shake pollen loose from flowers. Horseflies are loud and fast with a powerful buzzing sound as they fly. Horseflies are attracted to movement, dark colors, and heat, so they often target horses, cattle, and people. Horseflies can smell CO2 and body odors, helping them locate warm-blooded hosts. Scorpions have two large claw-like pincers, pedipalps, and a long, curved tail with a venomous stinger. Scorpions are widely distributed across the globe, from Africa to the Americas, but they do not live in Antarctica. Dung battles often look like tiny wrestling matches, with beetles pushing, rolling, and flipping each other. Male dung beetles often battle over dung balls, 
which are used to attract mates or feed larvae. Ladybugs are beneficial insects because they eat pests like aphids, mites, and scale insects that damage plants. Ladybugs live for about one year, going through complete metamorphosis, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Mantises belong to the order Mantidea, which includes over 2,400 species. Mantises are skilled hunters and eat insects, spiders, small frogs, lizards, and even birds in rare cases. Red iguanas spend much of their time in trees, using their strong legs and sharp claws to climb and cling to branches. Red iguana is known for its striking bright red or reddish-orange coloration. Caterpillars have 12 ocelli, simple eyes, arranged in a semicircle on each side of their head. They can detect light and movement but cannot see detailed images. Many caterpillars are experts at disguise. Spiders are arachnids, not insects. They have eight legs and two body parts, while insects have six legs and three body parts. Spiders don't chew food. They inject digestive enzymes into prey. Weevils are a type of beetle. They belong to the beetle family, Curculionidae, and are recognized by their long, curved snouts. Weevil antennae are bent like elbows and often rest along their snout, giving them a unique appearance. Grasshoppers are insects, with six legs, two antenna, and three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. Grasshoppers have strong back legs that allow them to leap 20 times their body length or more. Grasshoppers are often confused with crickets, Butterflies taste with their feet. Their taste sensors are located on their feet, allowing them to detect the right plants for laying eggs. Butterflies transform from caterpillars into adults through a process called metamorphosis. Yellow iguanas, like green ones, can change shades slightly depending on temperature, mood, and health. Yellow iguanas are albino morphs. They lack melanin, which gives them a uniform yellow or golden color with red eyes. Yellow iguanas behave like regular green iguanas, herbivorous, arboreal, and needing heat and UVB light.
Leopard geckos are named after their spotted skin, which resembles a leopard's coat. Leopard geckos are fascinating and popular reptiles, especially loved by reptile enthusiasts and pet owners. Leopard geckos are gentle, low maintenance, and easy to care for, making them ideal pet reptiles for beginners. Green iguanas spend most of their time in trees and are excellent climbers with sharp claws and strong legs. Green iguanas are strong swimmers and can hold their breath underwater for up to 30 minutes. Green iguanas are native to Central and South America, living in rainforests near rivers and streams. All on their own big adventures. Our journey begins by learning the secrets of where bugs love to live. We'll gently lift a log to find a family of pill bugs rolling into a ball and peek under leaves to spot a glittering spider web. You'll learn that a messy garden is a bug's best home, full of places to hide, munch, and build a family. <laughs> 